The very first step to making our chair was simply to create a design. With the help of AI, we used Dolly 2, Stable Diffusion, and Mid Journey, and other generative art sites to create something that looked interesting enough to produce to life. Specifically, we wanted something that looked like it was really made by AI. Eventually, we generated the perfect design. The chair looked messed up in terms of basic furniture standards. Its hind leg is not connected to the main body of the chair, and its arm piece loops around to form into the seating part. We generated another design that had a more Filipino touch with its rattan pattern. It was a challenge that we were really excited about, and we sat in our design and waited for an autocad. I, I don't have problems with AI design, but as, as I said, there has to be a human intervention. We're dealing with furniture, so there are some parts that AI cannot. In our industry, we are very designs driven. A lot of our work depends on our design. Customers will literally take us one year or two years. That's really our standard. There's two sets of designers. One comes from us, the other comes from the client. They have a design team with so many ideas in between and we just go back and forth for months on end. So with AI, things will move even faster with its help. Please keep in mind that the AI in IDA will be tackling just the design and not necessarily the manufacturing because the manufacturing is all based on manpower, actual human labor. But what we could help and assist in the furniture industry is speeding up the design process for furniture makers in the future. After a couple of weeks of waiting, the draftsman came back to us and gave us our plans on the Ida chairs. And as you can see, several changes were made for the chairs to be export ready. However, the original look of the chairs were still intact. According to CFIF standards, in order for a chair to be considered a chair ready for exportation, it must pass three tests. One may be the drop test, the other shake test, and the other the weight test. The reason we have to make these tests is to make sure that the furniture can be durable enough to withstand the stress of being shipped. As you can see, the chairs have passed the test and has outperformed during the weight test as both of them could hold six people at once. In the end, we were able to design not one, but two chairs using AI art. And we learned the difficulties that designers face in conceptualizing pieces for the industry. We were also able to cut down the designing process by a matter of months and allowed manufacturers to start sampling ahead of time. In our company, with the design team that will guide them, AI would be an in interesting addition to the design process. But as I said, the final outcome has to have human intervention. Yes, I will definitely need this kind of program because one, it's very efficient, it's cost effective, it's endless. There's a lot of help with forms and palettes and patterns. And really, it's almost limitless. With that one project that we did or that you guys did we were able to make it very fast it's kind of helpful that ai doesn't feed you the information like 100 percent ai only helps you with example forms so it's up to us to add the details like what you did with the raven chair i like that we get to pick the the rattan detail and we get to experiment the weave and other forms of materials. How about you? How would you use AI to help you in your line of work? Follow to learn more about Ida.